GamesWeasel.com Review Developers Maxis have been letting us all play God Games for some time now. We've run huge metropolises, if that's the right word, with SimCity, had fun with a virtual doll's house with The Sims, and now Will Wright's gone all Darwin on us with Spore. It's marketed as a personal universe in a box. Sounds like a deep and meaningful game, doesn't it? But actually, what you get is five mini-games which vary in complexity as you play through the stages. You begin the game as a single cell after a meteor crash lands on a planet, and then you have to play the equivalent of a flash game you may find on the internet. Simply eat things smaller than you and avoid becoming dinner for bigger things yourself. Whether you eat plants or animals does depend on what you evolve into in the next stage. Where you grow legs, take to land and then do the same on a bigger scale. Now, in the second stage, the world is in full 3D, and you either have to attack other species to make them extinct, or make friends with them. It's simple exploration and icon clicking as you choose attacks and mimic creatures to make friends with them. Earn DNA points and you can mate at your nest, using the superb creature creator to add features that make you faster, meaner and give you more skills. The creature editor is actually where this game is really at. It's so intuitive you'll be making multi-limbed beasts in no time and uploading them to the Sporepedia for the world to see. Once your brain's big enough in the game, you make it to the tribal stage. No longer do you control an individual creature, but now a tribe in a mini strategy game. Here you must once again befriend or attack neighbouring tribes to evolve and grow. You then enter the civilization stage where the action zooms out further and you create vehicles to get your creatures about. This game's a little bit like an RTS, where you can beat your enemies using religious, military or economic factors. Once again, it's pretty light stuff, but once you get through this, you finally get into space. Now this bit's really the main event. You now control a single ship as you zoom around the galaxies. You terraform planets to support life and plonk new creatures into the mix. You can even swoop down to the planets and have a good nose around. And that's nice because when you're in stage two, you also see ships doing the same thing above you as you wander about eating things. Now, if you do take any of Spore's parts individually, to be honest, they're a bit of a disappointment. Luckily, the game's more than the sum of its parts and does have genuine charm with its creature creator and the wonder and humor you'd experience as you play through it. Girls love it too, so if you're a bloke and you're trying to get your girly into gaming, get her to give this a go. That's a lot of G's. Spore gets a very good 7 out of 10. You've been watching a review from Games Weasel. If you want to get the show each week, which includes video game reviews, news, previews, competitions and special features, then head over to gamesweasel.com for our video podcast, Games Weasel TV. Gamesweasel.com